Hello everyone, it's Jackie and I'm back today to share a couple of swap journals that I've received. Um, I've done swaps as well for these people. Um, you will know them and I feel very fortunate to swap with both of them. So the first one is um, a swap I did with Chrissy Fru. Um, she's Chrissy's attic in Australia um, and makes beautiful, beautiful journals and I'll show you hers in a second. She also sent me some lovely extras. Um, if you know Chrissy, you'll know she's been um, using, I think it's cabbage, is it red cabbage, to dye. And I think these are um, pieces that she's dyed herself with that um, cabbage. This was the ribbon that the um, package was wrapped in. And she's also included beautiful snippet what's that about 12 13 inches of snippet roll um she makes very beautiful snippet rolls very beautiful um so those were the extra bits this is the journal this is hand embroidered heart on here and she's made a little pouch as she does um, I think if you follow Chrissy, you will have seen this. So I'm not going to dwell on every page. Um, I just want her to know how happy I am with it. Um, it's beautiful. And these lovely soft pinks um, and uh, cabbage roses or faded roses that I love. It's a bit of velvet, uh, velvet rose that she's made on here. And inside it's just beautiful just lovely um, everything I like and everything that I don't really do in the same way myself um, you'll see that both these journals um, are quite similar style actually the sort of, and it's a style I love um, I do buy and swap journals um, and about different different types of journals, but this this type I am particularly drawn to. So let's just whiz through this. I'm sure if you look on um, Chris's channel, you'll see this or something very similar. Again, this is her um, eco dyeing. I'm going to call it eco dyeing, and it's just lovely. Different papers. This is like a little um, post-it notes. I'll put a link to her channel under this video so you can go and search, search her out if you don't know her. I'm sure you will. She does this prints on glassine bags, which is, I'm gonna have a try at that. See, it's beautiful. These really pretty tags. And another snippet, a sort of slimmer one that she's um, decorated with little buttons and seed beads. So I might do that on the one that she's, um, the extra one that she's given me. So that's my journal from Chrissy. There she is, Chrissy's Attic. Thank you so much, Chrissy. I'll treasure it. It's sitting on my shelf already. Um, alongside quite a few others now. <laughs> In fact, I'm beginning to run out of space, so we'll see. And then the second swap journal that I've received is from um, Ali, Ali Commons. Um, a lot of you will know Ali. I've known her for a few years now. We've both been members of Junk Journal Junkies for quite a long time. Um, and this is the journal she sent me, but I just want to quickly show you. She was extremely generous, as was Chrissy. So I've got a bag of lace, trims, um, vintage buttons. There's some doilies and some of the lace that she's used on the cover here. And another bit of trim. And then there was a bundle of... Um, I'm just going to call it bits and bobs, but some vintage, um, some not so vintage, some envelopes, and you'll see why these are cool in a minute. I'll show you in here. Um, these are vintage pieces. 
some envelopes and bags and this is a graphic 45 tag um, journal I guess, tag, tag album, some bags and these really rather creepy Halloween pictures. Look away if you're easily scared. These these did make me smile. Um, a few years ago, Ali and I, we have swapped before a couple of times and one of those was um, a Halloween micro mini swap. And this is the little book that um, Ali made for me. I'm not gonna go all through it now, otherwise we'll be here forever. But this is just, I just love this. I still, I love it to bits. Not massive Halloween. I mean, we don't celebrate Halloween particularly, but um, sorry, this that's tied in a bow. So there's this um, creepy lady, which this reminded me of, this creepy lady. <laughs> and these are just full of um, little bits and bobs. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, little micro mini there. And this was the other journal that I've swapped with Ali a few years ago. Um, now I can't remember if this was vintage lace. I think it was lace covered. I think it was a lace covered swap. But this is delightful as well. And it's quite similar, obviously, in style to the one I received today. This is just gorgeous with these beautiful muted pinks um, and creams that I just love. Um, little bead angel was on the wrapping on the, the ribbon, the lace that wrapped the parcel, but I've moved it onto here. And I will show you um, through this journal. Um, Ali said she's been very inspired by Carol from Oak House Journals. And you'll probably know if you follow me that I'm a big fan of Carol's and have a number of her journals and have been friends with her now for a couple of years. So this is um, a little booklet full of full of interest, different papers, little tags, snippets, tabs, and made from um, a 1979 vintage envelope. So that sits in there. And then the journal is, again, just full of pretties, pretty lace, um, we decided for this swap it would be uh, approximately seven by five, two signatures and lacy and pretty and sort of left it more or less at that. And I'll show you when Ali's, I've posted mine to Ali, when she's received it, I'll um, post a video of what I've sent her. Lilacs I love, some vintage bits and bobs. Little bee dangles. This is an envelope that she's utilised for the middle of the um, signature, and she's included some of these lovely old photographs that I, I often do in my journals as well. I really, I really like using old photographs. And there was one here. I think I've passed it. Is it this, in this envelope? Which is a picture of the fox and hounds in Newcastle. And Ali won't know this, but my um, grandmother, who Margaret, Maggie, who appears in a few of my journals, came from Newcastle. Right, apologies if this looks a little bit disjointed. Um, my first video cut out for some reason. Um, I can't actually quite remember where I was. I think I was telling you about the photographs and I'm pretty sure I was here. <laughs> um, this looks like some stenciling. This is some more hand embroidery that Ali's done. I love lilacs, so that's a really good choice. And I love these purpley colours. This is Wendy with her aunt in 1964. Her aunt looking um, quite smart there. is pretty, um, I think it must be note paper that Ali's used. Vintage papers, tea or coffee dyed papers, glassine bag. This is um, a Victorian calling card. That's an original. So 
very much interest in these. I use them as lookbooks rather than using them. I'm not really a journal keeper. I do some junk journaling, some sticking and plonking, I call it. This is vintage wallpaper, genuine. It's more pretty note paper. And in the centre of this are some tiny little um, bead, bead dangles. More hand embroidery there. Such a lot of um, time has gone into this. Just lovely. And then in the back there's it another beautiful embroidery. And these French knots must have taken a really, really long time. <laughs> I do a little bit of this on my little mini embroideries, but I tend to just put one French knot at the top of each stalk, and that's enough for me. <laughs> so there we are. Um, Ali has uploaded a version, of, or will be uploading a version of this herself, so I'll direct you to her channel and you can have um, her version of this, which um, will be... I'm sure absolutely gorgeous and um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.